Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts 5 4 Kaiser Reich as United States of America. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So we have almost defeated the CSA in good old New England. Uh, there was like a, sm a slight rebellion around here, but I, you know, it, it's, it's under control. It's under control. Let me just see, is there anything we can do with you? Um, we can maybe get an attack here to work, because we're going to be a lot of guys there in multiple combats. Which is nice. Okay. So, you're mostly volunteers, unfortunately, so you are going to be significantly harder to kill. I'm trying to say, like, again, Philadelphia, if we can take that city, that'd be nice. And I need this. I, wait, no, we have everything here. 13 militias in upstate New York. Let's go. Massive, massive gains. That's what I call that. Next invoking the War Measures Act. Okay. Oh, our little rebellion over here. Put you in charge of the rebellion. Immediately move your way into Houston. Inspire low levels in the Pacific states. Ah, eh, I don't think we're going to do that. What I am going to do is I'm going to get you to come up and around, surround the city. As long as we can hold a port, we can kind of sit here indefinitely. Not indefinitely, but you know what I mean. Okay, they took a port of mine. That is less than ideal. Basically, they did to me what I wanted to do to them. Which I would say is not fair, by the way. You're not allowed to do better than I am. I'm only allowed to do better than you. New York City looks like it's going to fall soon. I can probably push here. And Philadelphia is going to be the uh, the challenge. Yeah, already sending reinforcements down. God damn it. Um, you hold position for right this minute. We're gonna draw a purple line down here to help reinforce. Once either New York falls, so I think these guys will send them down south. Or these guys, whoever, you know, finishes first. Okay, so that is a victory. They're already doing exactly what I want, thank you. Like, could I send more troops over there? Yes, I can send you at least. We'll send that division over. Get some more fuel storage, because apparently our oil situation still bad. We're, we're flying a lot of aircraft, so... And shouldn't be a huge surprise. Yeah, as long as we can take this port back from the AI, we should be okay. So we get an actual infantry, which is always nice. Um, I think, I guess, you don't do anything. We don't really need the naval bombers. I, I would be surprised if we did. The port from the, lo uh, from the loyalist. Thank you very much. Finally, some good old-fashioned American patriots. We don't get our bonus against you anymore. Uh, that's, that's less than ideal. I would have liked my bonuses. Thank you very much. Can't invoke some War Measures Act. That's okay. Okay, it doesn't really affect us too much. Whatever the Canadians want to do, the Canadians can do it. You know, I am not going to stop them. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to take another port. Thankfully, we won't allow that to happen. Yeah, no, I mean, war support's still going to be at, like, 100 no matter what. So I'm not worried. You're at 58. You're at 38. Did we take over the port of Houston yet? The answer is no. I'm going to... I don't 
don't know if I'm gonna do anything. I don't think you can do anything. Just, just hang out. Send you to brown, or no, that's not brown. That's like a like a navy. Can I up in uh New York City? Another seven divisions. Thank you. Okay, so that has been cleaned up. Should be able to then clean up both of these areas. These 11 divisions definitely don't want to be down here. How many men have we lost? I honestly don't think it's been that bad. Um, so we're looking at 85,000 against us. We've killed way more. I mean, it's, it's going to get worse uh, with these guys. But that's okay. St. Nicholas Uprising in the West. Oh, in Seattle. Yeah, it's, I, I don't care about Seattle. That's fine. We have 16 divisions here. Like, as soon as this is crushed, you guys have... That actually, like, might be, like, most of your army. To be completely honest. They are like, 95. You're definitely the strongest faction. And we're looking at 20 divisions in this pocket. Don't let these guys fall back. Keep pushing Philly. They have low supplies. I mean, our attack's still kind of awful. There we go. And that's going to be that cleaned up. I'm glad that things are working out for us. Significantly, you know, significantly better than I thought, honestly. I thought there were, if we didn't have New England, I think we would have been in a much worse uh, position. So all of you get back to where you need to be. Should be able to kill you. I mean, again, the American Union say we gave them a lot of benefits. Not really on purpose. We, we did it specifically for this moment where we dominate against uh, the American Union state. Or against the CSA. Got to pull you guys over there. Any other big areas? Four is looking like the best. So we'll get you. Kentucky. Where is Kentucky? God. Why do you do this to me? What have I ever done to you? I mean, I've destroyed American democracy, but like, what's the problem with that? Absolute cowards. You guys, please deploy down to the south. It's not really the south. It's like right next to you. But still, don't let this rebellion get too out of hand. Send everybody in. Like, our combat width can be absolutely massive. Cuba asked to buy aircraft. Uh, no, we absolutely cannot afford We're in the middle of a civil war. You think I can afford to give you a plane? You out of your mind? You not know how civil wars work? Uh, is there anyone else doing anything too crazy? Not that I can really see. But you might probably get this to work. I mean, we're getting most of the fuel we need. I mean, that's nice. By the way, how are you guys doing down here? You know what? Doing significantly better than I would have thought. Loyalist Terror. Why won't you die? I mean, we have air superiority. But we 
game shouldn't be this difficult. I believe Pennsylvania should give us a lot of troops. I mean, it's a big uh, state. At least I think it's a big state. Yeah, we got a pretty large army here. So we can probably take Detroit. And honestly, taking Detroit and then rushing away to Chicago probably would just win us the war, at least against you. Uh, so we got four more divisions. Send them over to the front. After that, we're looking at three in North Carolina. Because the Pacific states are like, they're, they're the pushover country. Like, they, they don't really count in, in the grand scheme of everything. 85 march in here. Not you. You keep killing these guys. Yeah, slow pushes here. Still have not taken Philadelphia. I can't help but notice that. I mean, really, this area, we just got to kind of slowly push over and over again. Yeah, like, these guys will have no supplies. You're almost dead. Are we missing anything? The answer is a bunch of infantry equipment. So, you know what? Keep cranking that out. Our manpower is low, but I think it's still... It caps at 5, so we're missing about 1.1%. Oh, but Philadelphia has fallen. You guys have no idea the troubles you have gotten yourselves into. Just sit there and let them kind of run out of uh, equipment. I think that seems okay. You're a German division, so... Unfortunately, you're going to be a little bit harder to dislodge than uh, regular American troops. Or I guess like the, the militias. Production prioritization of top-notch artillery. Let's go for top-notch. No, wait. No, 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 no. You... You're 939 tech. Yeah, let's go, let's go for top-notch artillery. Give me the bonus. Unfortunately, I do need a lot of aluminum because we're trying to build so many aircraft. Yeah, and I think this, uh, this deep blue army can probably get a lot of work done very quickly right now. Enough to win the war? I don't know. We're only at 44%. But I think the answer is potentially yes. The blue. Resistance rises in the Midwest. We don't live in the Midwest anymore, so it doesn't matter. Have you guys be on a very aggressive battle plan? One of which, uh, of course, I'm going to help uh, direct. I think we can easily get the Chicago. Uh, one guy there, one guy there, and I guess we need to start up a brand new army. I guess underneath a new field marshal, underneath you. And your job, of course, is to march away towards New Orleans. Seems simple enough to me. Well, these areas should break soon. Let's see if we can just finally crush these guys. Uh, push in. You push in. Purple is not very confident. I'm pretty sure that's probably most of the troops over in, uh... Philadelphia that's making them feel that way. Yeah, so this should work. How much longer do you think this battle's going to be going on for? About a few more days? Okay. 
And once one of these battles is concluded, the other one will have a, you know, an encirclement penalty. Give us a nice little boost there. You know, don't attack, because sometimes the AI does dumb things. Hungry's capitulated. Not a surprise there, of course. We want you to move here. We need to take Detroit soon as well. And I think just with Detroit, that should be... The war concluded. Yeah, there's, there's so many men. How many divisions are in that little pocket right now? Uh, we're looking at 19. Pretty, pretty decent, if I, uh, I do say so myself. Okay, so these areas should break soon. And I want all of you to be pushing this front. All of you are pushing this front. Thank you. You guys go to Lansing. So research, what do we want? It is 1937. Go for a uh, nice little army doctrine here. And uh, yeah, you just push straight into uh, the city there. You can reinforce that. As American Union State, you have no idea what trouble you're in. Once the CSA capitulates. Because again, they are... Stronger than you are. I'm by far the strongest faction, thankfully. Back, we'll need to take Detroit, obviously. Ready, Trying to think. You know what? You can probably push away down to Florida. Pretty easily. I guess you guys have not dealt with the Panama situation yet. No, not quite. You're close, but not quite there. Thank you, Austria, for the reinforcements. Chicago has fallen. I believe after that, it's really just taking Detroit that matters. Unless they get the... Uh, the capitulation event first. All nine of you guys go to that front. Yeah, and other than... I mean, Minneapolis is here, 15. But just... And that's about we push against the longest, obviously. Yeah, get 9 in Pennsylvania. Yeah, we'll try to surround Detroit as well. Native Code Talkers. Thank you for your support. Don't know why exactly you'd support us, but I guess I won't complain. So with Chicago Fallen, you should have Yeah, moved positions. But honestly, you're like you're probably fine where you are. We're gonna take Milwaukee, take Madison after that as well. Because under normal circumstances, the CSA would be pretty close to capitulating. Detroit will definitely be what pushes over pushes us over the edge. Yeah, you guys move down to uh, Miami, please, and thank you. So with this fallen, yeah, I mean we're actually doing, I mean surprisingly well. I think it's been what? Does it say in here when the American Civil War actually began? Start April 6th. April, May, June, July, August. Yeah, it's been like five months. Five months we've almost already defeated one of the factions. I think this is by far the best Civil War um, campaign we've had. Yeah, you're going to drive straight to Miami as fast as possible. Please and thank you, Mr. Truck. I appreciate your support in all this. Of course, the aircraft does not need to be in the Mid-Atlantic anymore. It needs to be... Probably like Appalachia right now, maybe. 
wouldn't be a bad spot for it. Yeah, I really don't think I want to spend any more troops actually attacking here. Indianapolis, you know what? It's worth 10 victory points. Let's take that city at least. Them and Detroit. And then after that, we'll of course spend all of our uh, attention here trying to kill American Union State. And honestly, after I really don't think it's going to take that long. There we go. Syndicates have capitulated. That was surprisingly easy. Of course, we're going to draw Blue's front line like this. Purple, honestly, you're not going to have a front line. You're just going to go up to here. You guys are going to have a front line over here. And just march away toward Mexico. I think, I think we need probably like more rifles. Get better artillery. And I believe... Yeah, no, I'm very happy with our results here. We're going to have to rush our troops, of course, quickly to the border. And you guys have signed a peace deal because you both do not like me more than each other. A little bit rude, I would say, but okay. I guess you spy in Sacramento. And I guess at this point we will uh, aspire loyalists, because why not? I've never actually seen him do deal with the devil against the federal government, but I guess the federal government really never gets strong enough for that to be a necessity. Oh yeah, you're a different color. Not really, actually. You be nice and uh, green here. Thank you very much. Of course, you guys are going to need a battle plan moving into here. And I'm fine with them taking this territory. Because it doesn't really matter too much to me. We'll just get to the front lines. How many men do you have? Less than we do for sure. Okay. Next biggest state. Probably Idaho. Oh, Idaho? Ohio. Looks like the next best contender. I think all of Orange. Honestly, you just do some attacks. You're nothing too crazy. Just some like good old fashioned regular attacks. And you make your way to that front line. Green Army is almost where they need to be. Or, I see orange, you don't even have a battle plan. Now you attack. Thank you very much. But I think with the fall of the uh, Confederate, or not the Confederates, the CSA, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now, Joey, Chloe, thumb down. Want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.